Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And Google just sent me the new Nest Wi-Fi Pro, which is a Wi-Fi 6E router. It can turn into a mesh system. We have a single one here. Now, if you did want to turn into a mesh system, you get the exact same model. So that's one thing that's different about the Wi-Fi Pro is that all of them are the exact same. So you have your main router, and if you want to add access points, you just get the same exact device. So all of them have the same ports. Everything is the exact same. With it using Wi-Fi 6E, it uses the 6 gigahertz band, which is less crowded than you'd find in the 2.4 or the 5 gigahertz band. Uh, but of course, keep in mind, you need a Wi-Fi 6E enabled device. Coincidentally, the Pixel 7 series does actually have Wi-Fi 6E to connect to a router like this. Anyways, we're gonna take a quick look what comes in the box and then run through the setup process. I'm gonna be using this as my main router for the time being. So we'll run through, set it all up and do some testing as well. Let's get started. Here's the new Nest Wi-Fi Pro from Google in that fog color, Wi-Fi 6E. Also, it says up to 2,200 square feet of coverage. Obviously, you can expand that with different access points. So, opening it up right away, there is the router. Pretty small, actually, not a crazy size, pretty minimal in terms of the design, nothing too crazy, no antennas sticking out of it. You could set it up on a shelf and most people probably wouldn't even know that it's a router. Setting it to the side for just a second. Let's see what else we get in the box. Warranty information, getting started guide, pretty standard. You also have your power cable, which doesn't use USB Type-C, anything like that, a proprietary connection right there. And then you also get an ethernet cable. So a single ethernet cable, which is flat. So a flat ethernet cable to probably to use to connect to your modem so that you do have uh, internet connection and then your power cable. Taking a closer look at the Nest Wi-Fi Pro, it's still really kind of cool, just a little playful little ball almost. Uh, but on the back, you have two connections. You have a can slot for your modem. So you'll connect this to the modem and then this is your ethernet port which you can connect another device. I wish there were more ethernet slots, maybe two, but again, there's size limitations to those type of things. So pretty simple power connection for the modem ethernet and then your just your ethernet slot to connect to maybe a TV, desktop, laptop, game console. Covering up some information, but at the bottom there is a little reset button right there. This is also a grip down at the bottom so it's not going to slide around wherever you set it on a table. Anyways, let's go ahead and plug our router in. Once we get it plugged in, we're just gonna need to go to the Google Home app on our phone and let's get it all set up. So I plugged in our Nest Wi-Fi Pro near where my modem is and then just open the Google Home app, search for devices, and there it is. It found it right away, Nest Wi-Fi Pro. Let's go ahead and scan the code that was at the bottom of the router. Let's you know you need to plug it into a modem so it can get internet connection. So I will make sure that happens. There's a decent chance you'll run into this issue where you'll need to restart your modem. So once uh, you plug in a modem into a new router, generally you'll wanna unplug that modem, wait about 10 seconds and plug it back in. All right, connected to our router, checked for an internet connection, and now it is going to your legal terms. You can put it in one of your rooms within the Google Home app. Now it prompts you to create a Wi-Fi name. I am using my Pixel 7 Pro, by the way, in case you were wondering what phone this is. Named the Wi-Fi, set a password for it, and now you can turn on Nest Wi-Fi Cloud Services, which gives you family Wi-Fi, guest network, advanced networking, device list. So activating Nest Wi-Fi Cloud Services definitely brings you a lot more features to your device. All right, finalizing our network, you'll notice it is now connected up here. I am kind of far and in between a couple of rooms from where the router actually is, so just kind of make note of that. Want to set up another Wi-Fi device. So this is where you would set up another access point after you set up your home base router. Looks like there's an update for our router, so I'll let that download, install, and then I will be back to check out the settings we have for our internet connection. So I've got my router all set up. I connected my desktop to the ethernet port of the router, connected a couple of devices. Everything looks good. Your network's online. Everything's all connected. You can do a quick speed test, which we will. Uh, obviously I'm in another room and it'll depend on the internet speeds that you get, uh, but you can set up a family Wi-Fi to pause it on kids' devices for bedtime uh, via the app or the assistant block adult sites. Also set up a guest network. So if you don't want your guests to connect to the main network, you can set up a completely different one that'll have its own SSID. 
and password. But for now, let's just run a quick speed test. Again, this is over Wi-Fi. Uh, the router's in another room. All right, so there was no animation or anything. It just said testing download, testing upload, and it output these numbers. Again, this is over Wi-Fi. I do pay for gig internet, at least on the download side. Upload speeds, I think I pay for 40 megabits per second. Uh, I'd have to double check on that, but solid 781 megabits, you know, again, over Wi-Fi in a different room when I do pay for gig speeds. So this will vary completely dependent on a lot of different factors if other devices are pulling data, et cetera. Anyways, you can look through your devices. Let's go into settings though. I want to show, again, family guest network, but there's preferred activities here where you can just check boxes of Google Meet, Zoom, so it recognizes when that's being used. And oh my gosh, include Stadia. Oh man, RIP. <laughs> so you can have gaming preferred as well. If you find you have issues with either of these, you can actually uh, check and prefer those. Privacy settings is an option for uh, cloud services or usage data to send. Notification settings, if there's a new device that gets added to your network or guest network losing connection, password mismatch, and then advanced networking. Right here, there's a couple uh, options to make note of to use WPA3 or 160 megahertz channel for maximum performance on five gigahertz. You can try these out if you'd like to, but again, they do note that uh, some devices might have compatibility issues. So if you do turn that on, you start to have issues with some of your devices over Wi-Fi, you know this is probably the culprit. So uh, use that at your own discretion. Other than that, pretty classic network configuration settings down at the bottom, nothing too crazy out of the ordinary. Also worth noting, you can change the status light on the front of your router between low, high, and off. So there's just three settings that you can toggle between. So overall, seems like a pretty simple basic setup was very easy to do. Once I got it plugged in, it was all ready to go through the Google Home app. Uh, pretty standard, easy settings, a, a great entry level router, you know, for some, someone that's really just looking for a plug in and it's working. And then again, adding devices is also easy. Once you get that main home point router set up, you can just add more and more Nest Wi-Fi Pro for a mesh network. So anyways, that's about it. Everything I wanted to cover for now. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. Again, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the design of them too. Uh, pretty unique. Uh, more minimal and just not necessarily a router. It's not very obvious that it looks like a router. I'll definitely have to do some more testing, add a ton of devices, get you know multiple streaming devices going while gaming. I'll probably stream on Twitch as well, uh, connected to this router while doing other things. So more to come. Drop a comment, let me know what you think about the Nest Wi-Fi Pro. Be sure to subscribe a lot. More videos coming soon. And as always, thanks for watching.